I would like to invite Reverend Stacy Tate, our chairperson of the board, to give our invocation. Let us pray. O oh, Holy One, maker of the mystery of the mind, maker of memories, and guide through the milestones, we give you thanks for this wonderful day, for these wonderful young people, and for all who have touched their lives. We ask for your continued guidance and blessings on this school and on these families. May you be with them and guide them through the future milestones and journeys of their lives. Amen. Good evening. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, faculty, staff, would like to welcome you to Brim Preparatory School's commencement for the class of 2012. Each year, we see growth in our organization. Each year, we measure our growth by looking at the changes we see in our students. We think holistically to meet the needs of our students. In order to do that, we must have a multitude of talented people who work as a team and are willing to share their expertise and shape the delivery of services according to the needs of our students. I th thank our staff, and I think our staff do better than any other program out there. We share, we argue, we push ourselves to do things better. We prioritize according to the individual needs of our students, and we do it to each other. I feel blessed that I am, that I am a part of an amazing group of professionals. I want to thank each and every staff person at all levels of our organization because it takes all of us to empower our students. I value your commitment to our mission. None of our graduates would be sitting here today if it were not for our parents. You are responsible for your child's success. You have been the ones who have sacrificed to ensure this day happens. We as a faculty and a staff applaud your every effort on behalf of your child. We thank you for entrusting you, your child, with us on all of our journeys. It has been a quest for all of us. We are all part of Carol Brim's dream. We are all part of a chapter in this life. You will always be in our hearts. To our graduating class of 2012, you know our mission is to empower students with complex learning disabilities to recognize and realize their full potential. We changed a little bit of strategic planning this year, but this is what they know. It is your turn to demonstrate your empowerment. Use your tools to master your goals. Stay true to yourself, stay focused, Make your attainable and achievable goals and maintain and advocate for your support. It is a strength to know who you are and be able to advocate for the needs in order for you to be successful. You only need accommodations. You will do the rest. We are proud of each and every one of you. In a few short minutes, you'll be known as alumni. You are part of our Brim family. Make us proud. We have a tradition that seniors get selected to address all of us. And this year, we had a difficult time deciding who. So as a result of that, we have five seniors who will be uh, saying a few words. Our first speaker will be Arun Akram.
Hello, my fellow, Br fellow Brem students, parents, and friends. I want to thank all of you for coming. I came here on my first day of high school, and I never thought I'd actually reach this point. So now, being here, it's hard to believe. All these students here, I've grown up with. Everyone in this room has taught me a bit. You know, my mom and my dad once told me, family always comes first. Well, I can happily say that everyone in this room, I don't care how far apart we are, you are all my family. The one family, though, I have to thank the most is my real one. Mom, Dad, I love you guys. Thank you. I know I've always whined and complained about the things that you made me do. Sometimes it's about bedtimes, sometimes it's about studying. But deep down, I always knew you just wanted what was best for me. So I just want to say I love you guys and thank you for no matter what happened, being there to keep me from slacking off and keep me moving forward. Right now, I'm standing in front of this crowd. I'm seeing friends who have taught me everything I know to this day. I know for a fact that after I leave this school for my final goodbye, every student here has a bright future in front of them. The ones who are graduating today and the ones who aren't. I stand here today looking at every single student I've met this year, and I stand knowing that I don't have to worry about any of them. I stand here today with complete faith that all of you will make something of yourselves. So today, on all of our seniors' last days at Brem Prep School, I want to say thank you to all the staff, the students, and the teachers who have made these years worthwhile. I think back to the first, to first time I walked on a Brem campus. I was a wet behind the ears, 14 year old hyperactive kid in denial about his LD. <laughs> but you know what? I wasn't the only one. Many of us were like this. We all grew, we all changed, and we all became what we are today. It was here that some of us had our most memorable moments. For many of us, it was Brem, where we had our first dates, our first girlfriends, and our first kisses. Sadly, it was also here where many of us had our first heartbreaks. But even with that, many of us made more friends than we ever imagined we could have. For me, I had all that and more. I climbed the first tree in my life. I went on my first real hike. And you know what? I jumped off my first real cliff. On a darker note, I also got my first minor concussion and my first hospital visit. <laughs> but all in all, Brems let us grow up. It has let us broaden our social boundaries and it has given us confidence and a life that we never imagined we could ever have. Sure, some of us had our rough patches, but every time we knew that we had family, friends, and staff who could support us and keep us moving onward. Because of them, we were able to mature from what we were to the people standing here right now. I remember my first year in dorm three, I was always running around causing trouble. Thankfully, I had Aaron Lee and Liz Cass as my dorm parents, and they made sure none of that happened. So right off the bat, I have to thank you two for helping me adjust. You guys made it seem a bit like home and a bit like I'd last. The other people, though, I need to thank are my dorm parents from this year. Aaron, you may have helped me adjust into Brem, but Joe, Kenya, you two helped me adjust out of it. You guys made sure that when this day came and I was up on stage, I wouldn't crash and burn, but I would take off flying. Some of the most important people, though, I have to thank, there are too many to count. The four years I've spent here, I've had many teachers. Some knew me at my worst when I was writing three-page sentences <laughs> to my best when I was writing 10-page college essays in my sleep. But all of you helped me make it to that point. So to all of you, my Brem teachers, I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Because without you, I don't think I could have even written this speech. Ms. Hart, I want to make sure to mention you. Because of you, I was able to make it through this final year of school. It was also because of you that I was able to get accepted into college and get ready for my life after Brem. So here, on this last day of high school, on this last chapter of my high school years, on this final stand, I look ahead into my future. No, into our future. And I see great things for all of us. So I speak these final lines in my high school ch um, chapter. I step off this podium. I just want to say thank you. Now I'd like to present a good friend and my roommate, Austin Walensky. Thank you, Haru. And it won't. Uh, 
Good evening, everyone. I'm Austin Olansky, and I've been a student at BREM for four years. I'd like to share with you some of my experiences at BREM and how BREM has helped me. BREM helped me prepare for independence in the real world by challenging me to reach my full potential. At BREM, I learned to set goals and advocate for my needs. I developed more self-confidence and improved my social skills. So I now reach out to people more than ever before. BREM helped me stay motivated, following the path set on early on by my parents. Dorm life has been a valuable experience for many BREM students. It served as a second home for many of us because it made us feel like we are part of a family. Also, the dorm life made me grow to be independent by learning to do chores, do my own laundry, and prepare meals like I will do when I live on my own. The structure of BREM provided me with experiences that kept me busy and engaged all the time. Over my years at BREM, I participated in various recreation activities such as soccer, basketball, paintball, student council, FBLA, and the school play. Also this year, I got the opportunity to play baseball. This was a sport I grew up playing and have liked since I was five years old. Another moment that happened this year that I'll remember for ages is winning prom king at my senior prom. So out of my four years at Brown, this year was hands down my best year at Brown. Without Brim, I would not know where I'd be today. I would like to give a special thanks to my dorm parent, Joe, for making me a better person in the dorm and socially. He has been my dorm parent since the start of my first year at Brim. I also want to give a special thanks to Aaron Lee. He was a second dad to me and made me a stronger and confident person on and off the court. Next, I want to give a thanks to all my teachers who gave me a great high school education here and all their support. I want to thank my advisor, Brad Seamer, for everything you've done to make me a better student in the classroom. Thank you, Brad Sims, my speech and language pathologist, for improving my reading comprehension. And also, thanks, Jen Connell, for improving my public speaking skills and getting me interested in the play. Without her, I would not have been acting on stage or speaking in front of you guys tonight. <laughs> Finally, I want to give a special thanks to my parents for finding me a great high school education to give me and prepare me for the next step. It was hard at both of us since Bren was away from home, but in the end, they knew this might be the best high school program for me. Without them, I would never have known the importance of hard work and why you should never give up. I love both of you so much and proud to have you guys as my parents. As we move into the next chapter of our lives, many of us will go to college. I will attend Lynn University and major in sports management. Attending this program will continue to challenge me and make me strive to reach my full potential. As I walk into a new world, I will continue to set goals for myself to help me overcome my challenges. I know with my consistent hard work and confidence, I'll be able to achieve these goals. Also, I want to wish the best of luck to the rest of 2012 senior class or wherever their life takes them. Although we have learned disabilities, we can do amazing things in this world. Same with the underclassmen. If you all put your mind to achieving your dreams, anything's possible. So I hope you underclassmen follow the same steps that we 2012 seniors do in order to be successful. Just remember one thing. Do not let your learning disability get in the way of chasing your dreams. Thank you. Now I'm proud to present my classmate, Emily Apple. Good evening, everyone. I stand here before you realizing this is the end of our high school years. It's not until now when one realizes how much high school's meant and the memories that will never be forgotten. Before I came to Brem, I missed social cues, couldn't make friends, and focus in class. 
I also did not understand the work or instructions given to me, and I felt like a complete failure. Due to my perceived failures, I felt insecure, unwelcome, and unhappy with myself. I was convinced I would not be able to succeed. During my sophomore year, when I joined BREM, I started to think I was not a failure. I began to learn, and I was receiving the help and care that I needed. I started to develop self-confidence in academics and social settings, too. From then on, I started to strive for success. I went from being negative to positive, and I learned control over my impulsivity. In addition, I was able to slow down and work to my full potential. As a result, I am able to graduate with the class of 2012. Together, we're moving on to different colleges and job opportunities. This is a huge milestone for all of us as we begin a new chapter in our lives. I want to thank all our parents for putting so much effort into helping us be able to graduate today. The teachers, administrators, and dorm staff for helping us all throughout the good, the bad, the great, and the ugly. Also, I would like to thank kitchen staff for making us great food and catering to the people who need special foods too. I would also like to thank the nurses for helping us stay healthy and make sure we feel just great. <laughs> I do not know how we will feel as students with no computer. So I wanted to thank the tech group for giving us our computers and dealing with all our complaints all day, every day. In addition, we would not have an updating and working clean campus without the maintenance group and the janitors. If it wasn't for Dr. and Donna Collins, this school would not be what it is today. You both put in so much hard work for us, it is incredible. <laughs> without the great amount of students in every grade, we would not have such an amazing school. Lastly, I want to thank the seniors, the class of 2012. We stayed strong throughout these years, had our ups and downs, but overall, this was an amazing year. We did it. As we leave this year, we will be leaving behind many positive experiences, but we will make many more in the future. However, our memories will stay with us forever. Thank you. Now it's my pleasure to present my classmate, Paul Meyer. Thank you, Emily. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for coming to celebrate with Brem the graduation of the class of 2012. I would like to start off by saying thank you to Brem for everything that you have given to me and the rest of the graduating class of 2012 while we have been here. I came here as a young kid who was trying to figure out what I was doing with my life to this year, where I've grown from that boy into a mature young man. There are many people and experiences that have led me and the rest of the graduating class of 2012 to this moment in our lives that we will always remember. I would start off, like to start off by thanking my family, because without them, I wouldn't have had the opportunity to go to school here at Brem. My parents are amazing people who have always been by my side through the easy and hard times in my life. Thank you. Also, my brother and sister, Connor and Cassie, are two of the most important people in my life. They have helped me to become the person I am today. This is because even though we have sometimes challenged each other, we have always cared for each other profoundly. Then there are the people at Brem who have helped me and the rest of the graduating class in our time here. Everyone we've had the pleasure of knowing while we've been here at Brem have helped us to become the people we are today. The first of these people that has helped me in my time here is Brad Sims, my advisor. We've had many experiences together, but the most memorable one for me would have to be just having the privilege of knowing Brad. I would also like to acknowledge all of the other advisors for their efforts put forth for the rest of the class of 2012. I would like to thank all of the teachers for their support for our class. Specifically, I would like to thank Geo Flint for his support that he's given me in English, which I'm now considering going into as a career. I'd also like to thank Jen Conwell and Geo for what they gave me in my two years that I was in the school play. I would like to thank Mary Hart for the support that she gave me when it came to being in the FBLA. I would like to say thank Brad Seamer and John Barnes also for their support. 
I would also like to thank all the dorm parents, administration, and all the rest of the staff around campus who've made the class of 2012s and my time here at Brem memorable. Although there have been all these people who have helped me and the rest of the graduating class out through our time here at Brem, the class of 2012 and I wouldn't be standing up here without each other. I would like to thank all of my peers profoundly because they have been an amazing group of friends to have and to have the honor of graduating with them is a wonderful feeling. Specifically, I would like to thank two of my best friends here at Brem for their friendships that I've gained in my time here. Haruni Krom and Kevin Marsnack, who I hope to stay friends with for as long as I live. The experiences and knowledge that the class of 2012 and I've gained from going to school here at Brem have been excellent to achieve. I've had many experiences with this graduating class of 2012, but none are more memorable than the simple one of knowing them because all of them have contributed to the person I've become today. A lifelong lesson that I've learned from being a part of this class is that without friends, family, and even people you don't like, you wouldn't go as far in life. After all that we've been through, I couldn't wish for anything better in life than what has been blessed upon me and the rest of the class of 2012. I also want to wish the best of luck upon those of you who are underclassmen here at Brown. It's not every day that you realize that you won't be coming back to a place that has helped you grow as a person. And this makes you think about everyone who has helped you through your time at that place. I wish for you all to be successful here at Brem and wherever you may go. I also wish to express this hope to my fellow graduating class members because I know most of you, including me, are still wondering what awaits us after Brem whether it be college, going into the workforce, or where, whatever else may await you. In the end, I cannot, I cannot express the gratitude that I have for Brem enough. So I just want to say that no matter what happens in my life, I will always remember how much I learned from going to school here at Brem. It all comes down to the fact that Brem really can and does change lives. And I am one of those people fortunate enough to have had that happen to them, as well as the rest of the class of 2012. Finally, I would like to thank all of you for coming to commemorate our graduating class's success. It has been a pleasure to go to school here at Brown. Thank you all. And now I would like to introduce our last speaker, Andrew Crow. Thank you, Paul. As a speaker, as well as a member of the graduating class of 2012, I hope to represent myself and my classmates accurately without resorting to excessive speech and exaggeration. But this is difficult because we all have unique talents. Unfortunately, a strength is not going accompanied by a weakness. We all have our shortcomings that need to be improved upon, every single one of us in this gymnasium and on this stage. Luckily for us, and thanks to our parents, we have made it to Brem. Whether it was our choice or not, no matter the magnitude of struggle along the way, it has been the skill, the faculty, and staff that has guided us towards a noble end. And that end is success and a diploma that symbolizes our triumph. Regardless of our diversity and background, Brem has offered us so much. The atmosphere combined with the direction of our advisors has much to do with who we are today. Not to downplay our own advancements that are chiefly ours, but they always were there to lean on. For that, we were very thankful. We have all come a long way. Speaking personally, I wouldn't recognize the person I have become even a year ago. I can say now, I was not thinking my life would have turned out this way, but I'm okay with that because it's not all bad. I've attracted good things for myself. Many of my classmates have done the same. As we move on from Brem, we can all walk away with a generally positive experience. We've gained knowledge and insight not only regarding the sciences and humanities, but regarding ourselves and others of different backgrounds. This is something Brem does well at, involving all three aspects of a student's education, academic, emotional, and social. Without Brem's holistic focus, we wouldn't have nearly, been nearly as successful as we come to be today. 
success, our success up to now will follow us into the future. Statistically speaking, the odds are in our favor. Just receiving our diplomas increases our chances of being successful in the time to come. Many of us have chosen to go to college, and some of us have chosen to go to vocational route. But whichever our focus is, our success here and now is to be celebrated not only because we have received our diplomas, but due to the symbolic value of graduation. The diploma means much more than the completion of high school. The diploma gives insight into the very depth of that person who holds it. So, in conclusion, I would like to congratulate the class of 2012. Thank you. I think this will be known as a class of speakers. As you probably noticed, I skipped something in the agenda here, and uh, that was the, uh, to make note that the new gazebo, which is between dorm four and five, is a gift of the class of 2012 to the campus. So I'd like to thank the Parent Association and, and also the, the graduating class uh, families for providing that uh, beautiful structure uh, for us on campus here. Matt Marisak, who is our commencement speaker tonight, uh, is graduated in 1994 uh, from Brim. He's an alumni. He attended John A. Logan College for a short period of time, went on to uh, Marshall Universal, University. He graduated with his bachelor's in science degree in geology in 2006, uh, then attended West Virginia University and uh, got a degree in, uh, at the Institute of Technology and in 2008 received a Bachelor's of Science in Civil and Engineering. Uh, he has gone on to work for um, the Black and Veatch Company out of Kansas City. He spent three years working on uh, developing electric projects in Afghanistan. Uh, is now back in Kansas City and is currently completing his, uh, his master's degree and will be uh, in geotechnical engineering. He's going to tell me what that is later. Uh, he also is, is getting his professional management degree certificate and his master's degree in project management from Colorado Technical University. And he is one of our uh, successful alumni. And without further ado, Matt Marasek. Well, good evening, everyone. Uh, I'd like to start in saying you guys did a wonderful job. You know, just briefly, that, that's, that's great. Um, I'm a bit nervous standing here and speaking in front of everyone here. Uh, when I was given this opportunity a few months back, I was very thankful and excited. Two months later, I had 26 pages of partial <laughs> thoughts written down and Yes, I am ADD. <laughs> so, let's see. This is the first time I've had the opportunity to talk in front of so many people. So I'd like to uh, thank you and apologize if this is a little bumpy. My name is Matthew Marasek. I graduated from Brim half my lifetime ago in uh, 1994. Since that time, I feel as though I've been living the greatest adventure of all time, and that is life. While I was at Brim, I wasn't exactly a model student at times, <laughs> and I'm sure those who knew me then had tremendous doubts about my future. But that's a story for another time. <laughs> my major successes since then, as I had the, uh, since leaving Brim, is that I had the opportunity to uh, help raise my kid's sister. I graduated from college with a degree in geology and civil engineering. Uh, recently, we completed a project where I was a construction manager um, that has doubled the amount of electricity that could be sustained on the power system importing it into Kabul, Afghanistan. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult, but 
And then uh, finally, making my parents proud. I've had uh, tremendous successes and epic failures in my lifetime so far. And uh, with one, one thing I can say is for sure is that life is an adventure. So as you graduates uh, leave here today, please keep it in mind as you start your adventure. Parents, I'm sure you're excited and nervous. I know that my parents, uh, well, I'm pretty sure they were relieved more than anything else. I can see how proud you are. The same pride when you're, that you felt when your child spoke their first words, took their first steps, or had any other major accomplishment that you shared with them. They've worked hard to achieve this goal with your support. Ladies and gentlemen, this will not be the first time you experience this feeling. You may also be a bit nervous to, this, to the uncertainty of the future of these young men and women after they leave Brim, the decisions they'll make as adults in this world, and the consequences that they may face by making the wrong ones. I'll tell you that these feelings are normal, and in my case, my parents were most uh, appropriate feeling that way. I'm telling you from experience that these graduates have been given extremely useful tools during the course of their education here at Brim. And these tools over the years have been re refined, developed, tools that these graduates before you today will use for the rest of their lives. I am sincere when I say that because of these tools, these young men and women will be an advantage when compared to their peers. These graduates are prepared. They have learned ways to capitalize on their strengths and constructively deal with their weaknesses. And I am sure that you're aware this is a huge asset in life. I'm sure that, uh, that there are graduates here that are also nervous about the future, and I'm here to tell you that that's normal. It's human nature to fear what's unknown and be uncomfortable with change. You're now taking one of the first major steps of becoming a leader in our society. You ladies and gentlemen are high school graduates. Be proud of this accomplishment. It'll be one of many. You'll have successes and you'll have failures. Celebrate your successes and view your failures as opportunities to learn. Don't be discouraged by them. I'm excited for all of you. You've accomplished something great here. This is what you've been working towards. You've accomplished this objective successfully. For the rest of your lives, you'll look back at these high school years and smile. You'll remember the lessons you've learned, some harder than others. And you'll remember the relationships you've had, the ones that you've built. Some of the best stories I have come from the experiences here with the faculty, the staff, and the students at Brown. Not only have you become more advanced member of society now that you've graduated, you've taken the first step in financial independence. I read a few days ago that according to the Alliance for Excellence, Excellent Education, on average, high school graduates will earn an annual income of almost $10,000 greater than non-high school graduates. This is 55% greater than someone who didn't complete high school. You have a lot to be proud of. With that being said, I urge you to give college a try. College was one of the greatest adventures of my lifetime. If I could give you one final piece of advice before you left here, and I, I think you guys had this covered, and I was very happy to hear it, that uh, is to be thankful. Be thankful for what you have. Be thankful for your time here, the relationships you've built with the faculty, with the staff, with the other students. Be thankful for the love and support of your parents, the sacrifices they've made for you to be here, and be thankful to God. Graduates, as I said in the beginning, life is an adventure, so welcome to yours. Congratulations and job well done. Thank you. Since we're starting our uh, 30th 
I can tell a lot of stories about this guy, by the way. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm, I, I, we don't have all night. Uh, <laughs> long, long night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, since we're starting our 30th anniversary this year, we, we started the groundbreaking of a uh, uh, simulation of the groundbreaking a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we decided that we would uh, start a new tradition, and that's to present uh, uh, distinguished alumni awards to our alumni. And we're going to go back and do some retroactively. And this year, we'd like to present our first to Matthew David Marisak, 2012 Distinguished Alumni Award for Him Preparatory School. Thank you. Thank you. Each year, the BPA conducts, uh, sponsors two awards. One is the Citizenship Award, and one is the Inspiration Award. The Citizenship Reward is given to the person who has demonstrated cooperativeness, dependability, helpfulness, thoughtfulness, and courteousness to both teachers and students. Both these awards are uh, voted on by every faculty and staff. It's a secret ballot. They're accumulated, and I'm seeing this for the first time. And so the recipient of the Citizenship Award, Austin Molansky. We also give the Inspiration Award. It's presented to the person who has exemplified, I gotta read, exemplified persistence and courage in facing and pursuing academic and social challenges. This year's award goes to Andrew Crow. We also present the Academic Fitness Award, uh, and this is for the, your overall high school um, GPA, and it is, uh, there is a letter here from President Obama, uh, which I'll read. You get, there's a plaque, there's a letter, and there's also a lapel pen uh, from the White House. Please accept my congratulations on receiving the President's Education Award. I am pleased to join your faculty, friends, and teachers in recognizing this outstanding accomplishment. Education is key to ensuring our nation's young people gain the skills and knowledge necessary to achieve their dreams and succeed in the 21st century. By earning this honor, you have shown a commitment to working hard in the classroom and to meeting the highest academic standards. Students like you will chart the course of our country's unwritten history, and I commend you on setting a powerful example for all young Americans. I encourage you to always set your sights high, and I wish you the very best in the years ahead. We have two recipients this year. There was a tie. The first award goes to Austin Walansky. This is a sweep this year. The second award goes to Andrew Crow. <laughs> At this point, I would like to invite Terry Douglas up for us to present the honor cords.
On Accords are presented to the BRIM cumulative grades only. And the criteria is that students have to have a 3.5 or higher grade point average in order to receive this, the On Accord. Andrew Crow. Charles Dreyer. <laughs> Jenny Edmonds. <laughs> Rachel Gibbs. Alexander Greenhill. Jocelyn Parker. <laughs> Cortland Reed. Chase Sargent. <laughs> Ryan Urban. Dana Weidman. <laughs> Austin Walensky. Now, like to invite Reverend Stacy Tate up to present our eighth grade certificate. <laughs> William Scott Stegman. Now to make it official, 
by the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees and Brim Preparatory School, and upon the recommendations of your teachers and your principal, I proclaim that you have completed your junior high requirements and have now graduated eighth grade from Brim Preparatory School. We will now confer diplomas to our high school graduates. Emily Rose Apple. Andrew Ashton Berry. Jordan Lee Bond. Martin Abraham Brill. William Martin Christofferson. Andrew Joseph Daniel Crow. Anders Lee DeBoom. <laughs> Charles Frederick Dreyer. <laughs> Jenny Elizabeth Edmonds. Arun Ahmed Akram. <laughs> Rachel Elizabeth Gibbs. Alexander Jared Greenhill. <laughs> Samuel Benjamin Helgoth. Max Elliot Hirschberg. <laughs> Bradley Malcolm Jacobs.
Kevin Thomas Marcinac. Paul Craig Meyer. Jocelyn Ray Parker. Rena Krishnuka Riker. Julian Hansen Regan. <laughs> Cortland Gardner Reed. <laughs> Chase Winfield Sargent. Matthew Thomas Stoner. <laughs> Ryan Taylor Urban. Dana Marie Weidman. We have a tradition that if you are a board person that you get to present your, the certificate or the diploma to your child. Austin Lake Walansky. By the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees and Brim Preparatory School, and upon the recommendations of your teachers and the school, I proclaim that you have completed your high school requirements and are now graduated from Brim Preparatory School.
Wow! Yeah. How many mistakes did they have? Thank <laughs> you. 